What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today and I am super pumped because I'm out here on a river that I have never fished before. I always get excited when I come to new bodies of water and this is a coastal river so this thing has some giants in it. As a matter of fact this weekend some mega bags were weighed in. 29 and a half pound bag, 31 and a half pound bag. Just some big big bags of fish and what I'm doing Y'all know it, I'm hoping to catch them frogging and flipping. I'm gonna stick to my bread and butter and it looks absolutely beautiful. Cypress trees, dark tannic water. I am super, super pumped. So we're gonna go down in this creek, go around the bend. We're probably gonna start up in the creek and then we're gonna work our way out to the main river as the day goes on. But hopefully we can catch some doggone biggins today because they are in here. And hopefully we catch them on top water. That is the goal, frogging. You know, we'll flip if we got to, we'll do some other stuff, but I'm hoping the frog is gonna get it done. So let's go ahead, let's ease around the bend. Let's get to casting. All right, so idling through the creek, looking at all this good looking stuff, I can't take it any longer. So we gotta get up here and get started. I'm gonna get to casting. And of course, like I said, I'm gonna start off with the frog. So tied on black. I got a buddy that fishes down here right much and he told me that black was definitely a good color in here. So tied on the old dart frog and we're gonna throw that sucker and see if we can get a big one. See if we can get a big one. I am absolutely pumped. We're gonna ease along in the creek here. We're gonna walk the old frog along. See if we can get it done. I'm not throwing a walking frog right now. Both of my black and yellow walking frogs are messed up. So I thought I had, thought I had a, uh, you know, plenty of them in the boat and I might have some extra ones, probably do but we're gonna throw the regular frog for the time being. Gonna get up there tight on them trees. See if we can get old big girl. There is a chance of storms rolling in at about two o'clock today. So hopefully they don't run us off or maybe if it is going to storm maybe the fish would just be absolutely chewing this morning because the storms are going to roll in i don't know i know a lot of times before storms come in you know the fishing can be phenomenal So maybe that'll be the case today. Water temps are 71. For those of y'all that wanna know what the water temp is, I know sometimes I tend to forget, tend to forget to tell y'all the water temps. I think today is a high of like 80, 80 something, 82, 83. And water temps are 71 been pretty cool this year so actually the water temps are a little bit lower than normal all right just switched over to the good old yellow and black frog and i want i want a popping frog throwing that black and yellow and i'm just i'm not that confident in it so i have a lot of success on the yellow and black with the white belly and tannic water as well but i just wanted to go with a popping frog want to make a little bit more ruckus oh right there that's a good one too oh my goodness how about that one just switched over just switched over to that yellow and i mean we got a four pounder I mean, I can boat flip this sucker, but I mean, that kind of be stupid. I would like to get him in the boat for the video. Come here. There we go. Well, how about he's bigger 
than a four pounder. How about that? That's a daggone nice one right there. Ooh, son. Let me tell you what. How about that for a first one? Let's talk about choked. My goodness. Well, y'all, we're going to weigh that sucker and we're going to see what this fish goes, but it's probably four and a half or so. I mean, that fish absolutely cracked it. So we're going to see what our best five is. We're not going to put them in the live well. I know a lot of people put them in the live well for a hero pick and that's fine, but we're not going to. So spot number one, Let's see what this fish goes. This fish is 4.56. 4.56. Dad gum tank right there. Thank you, girl. I mean, that fish absolutely smoked it when she bit. Well, all right. I think maybe that move to the uh, yellow and white popping frog <laughs> I can't talk popping frog wasn't a bad one that gun first frog biting is a tank so 4.56 for the first one I will take that I will take that hopefully hopefully that's just a beginning this is awesome wow that's a nice fish they're beautiful in here so dark because it's dark tannic water nice and so if y'all are wondering what I'm throwing this on, this is a 7.3. This is the Mach 2, the new Mach 2 rod. This is a 7.3 medium heavy. And this is a loose super duty. 6.8 to 1 right here. 50 pound P-line braid. 50 pound is what I go with. Throwing the good old frog on there, the popping frog. And I mean, that fish was, God, I don't even remember how far up I was. I think it was right in there, I think. So we're going to turn around. We're going to start back and we're going to head back down. Oh, man. That was fun. There's another nice one. There's another nice one. Chunk. There we go on the frog absolutely choking it he's not as big as the other one obviously but daggone nice fish two pound class let's check him see what we got for spot number two Two point four four. Two point four four. Yep. Got it. All right. We're having some fun. Almost a two and a half pounder. Yes. Man, these fish, I mean, they're back. They're up in the woods. I mean, they're just, they're just like I like them. They are just like I like them. Um, I'd cast it up there a couple times trying to get right up in that hole and the little limb kept hanging up on my frog and messing up my cast. I finally got it in there and was rewarded. Nice. There's one little guy, not as big as the other ones, but hey, I'll take it. I will take it. Dude choked it up there shallow. Come here, get out of there. There we go. 
nice little fish. We're not even gonna weigh, well, we'll weigh him. We'll weigh him just cause. Let's see what he is. 1.36, spot number three. 1.36, there we go. They are eating on that frog, yes. This is cool. I'm definitely enjoying this, y'all know that. They are on my bite. All right, so I think we're nearing the mouth of the creek, looks like. Yeah, we're right here at the mouth. Once we get out of here, we're gonna fire up and run down the river a little bit, but we got some really good wind-driven current going right now. So I'm hoping that's gonna get this bite turned on even more. You never know, could turn them off. <laughs> fish are weird fish are so weird like i guess that's what i like about them is the fact of just how many variables it is and whether a fish bites or not it's just it's so crazy but i do know one thing my frog is messed up or it was messed up it's not messed up now let's get in there but this wind is really pushing us now this wind and current See if we can get this thing in front of one. The wind's kind of like blowing from behind us, right down around this bend. I don't know how big this fish is. I ain't seen it yet, really. Oh, another big one. Right there on that tree. Yep, another really nice fish. I mean, just absolutely choked that frog. Let's see, let's get him. Switch my hands up here. He just says, as it choked, got him. Well, that's another four pounder. I mean, you talk about just choking it. Oh, that fish might be three and three quarter. You talk about choking it, and there's another good one. He just come right up and ate it. Literally, I was looking right at my frog. Here we go. Another daggum nice one. He's spot number four. We're gonna see what this fish weighs. I think it's probably four pounds, somewhere in there. Yep, 4.12. Nice. All right, girl. Go and be free. What a pretty fish. That water is so cool. I mean, it's just, it's so dark watching them swim away. That is awesome. That fish was right there in that little teeny hole. Right there. I mean, that thing just came up and ate it. Nice. Got, it. Oh, got that one. We smacked him right in the face. I mean, Woo. oh my goodness! Don't get that big old hook in me. We're getting blown into this tree right here. That fish bit it beforehand. We're gonna check, see what we got with this little dude. He's a wild one. He wants to. Shake all over the place. One point, one point oh one or point nine nine. So let's see what we got right now. We got thirteen forty nine. 
we definitely have got some room to grow. He's not even a pound. Not even a pound, little guy. Definitely the smallest fish that we've caught, but hey, I like them all when they're biting the frog. I like every last one of them, because they are fun. All right, so we're right here at the mouth, as y'all can see. And I think we're gonna get right and fire up and we're gonna run, I guess it's down river. Yeah, it would be down river because woo, that just ricocheted right off of that cypress knee right there. But it would be down river. So we're gonna run down river and I believe it's some creeks down there. We're gonna go in them and see if we can maybe duplicate what we kind of got going on in that creek that we were just in. That would be nice. So we're going to go in there. We're going to stick with the frog. Might occasionally pick up the flipping stick. Occasionally. If I feel like we need to. But right now, we're frogging. Good water temps. Still 70 degrees. And they're probably going to stay right in there. I'll make a couple casts just right here and then we're going to pull this troll motor up and head down the river. All right. We're going to venture into the unknown. Headed to where we've never seen before, been before. There's a creek right here on the on the left it looks like is that another creek i don't even know we'll look and see i don't think so i think that's just where it juts in all right so we're easing up to this little creek right here and we're going to see if we can pull one out of here the last creek didn't treat us very well so we're gonna see if we can change that see if we can get one on these outside trees right here just didn't have a lot of confidence in that other pocket I don't really know why it just didn't look right to me didn't have didn't have exactly what i was looking for i guess i should say it was real bushy i kind of wanted the trees to be you know kind of like this like just kind of where you could get to them easier to get to let these ripples do their thing It's a little guy though. Not what size we're looking for. Not what size we're looking for, but that's the first fish in a while. That is the first one we've caught in a while, so I will take him. Little guy. That's a little bit of an upgrade from that 0.99, but we're not even gonna worry about it. We're not even gonna worry about it. He's probably about a pound and a quarter. So We'll uh, we'll just call him a pound and a quarter and keep on going. He was right there on them rocks. Tell you what, he cracked it when he bit it. He wasn't playing. First fish we put in the boat here in a while. All right, next spot. Literally didn't go anywhere down the river. These creeks are a lot closer together than what I thought they were. As soon as I get on plane, I'm stopping to, to uh, drop the trolling motor and start fishing again, which I'm not complaining about that. 
but hopefully we can get on something here because we've had a little bit of a definite slow period definitely been a little slow did have one bite that just that bite could have been a game changer if it was a bass but i don't know hard to say you know i could start flipping or something doing something different but i'm still getting enough bites on the frog to keep me throwing it switched up colors so maybe that'll make a little bit of a difference i'm not sure that was a hard bite i don't know what it was there we go that's a nice bass flipping all right on the rage bug might have just changed up on us a little bit i don't know i said nice now nice is a relative term here so nice is definitely a relative term so let's put him in spot five because he's definitely bigger definitely bigger than the one we had in spot five let's weigh this one we might do a little bit of flipping 1.52 all right here we go 1.52 thank you there buddy so a flipping fish hmm and i mean he bit it good too maybe we'll flip a little bit because i mean like i said the frog bite definitely has fallen off some so we'll try the the old rage bug and that fish actually like came up and looked at the frog first that's why i picked the flipping stick up and pitched in there but i don't know that's a fish he's still on it got that one there's a bass there's another one flipping just not the size we're looking for obviously we're looking for absolute tanks is what we're looking for not these little guys i mean it is a bass I mean, maybe we'll maybe we'll stick it stick it out a little bit longer i don't know we'll hang on just a tiny bit longer and keep flipping because we are we are getting a few bites here and there that fish was biting very aggressively that one was i'm gonna set the hook here soon and just feel some just freaking weight I mean, just slouch daddy. I don't think I'm gonna make but a few more casts in here. Get back out to that main river, out of them trees and really pick them apart. Throw the frog, flip them, kind of whatever. Caught a few in here, you know, but just not not what I'm looking for. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for like more broke up shoreline with trees and just, you know, something I can really pick apart with that frog or flip. So that's what we're gonna go. We're gonna run back out to the main river, just pick a shoreline and just go with it, really. Cause it is, what time? It's one o'clock. So, I mean, it's not like terribly late or anything. But we got maybe, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half left to fish. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we get that big one because we want to get that 15 pounds. We're sitting at like 14 pounds right now. So, we only need a pound upgrade. Let's see if we can get him. All right. So, 
I did a little bit of exploring, ran down the river where it got, got real big and didn't really like anything that I saw. So I came back, ran past the creek where we put in at and kind of found this stuff kind of that I like. So I'm gonna throw the frog around this right here. We're gonna see what we do. You know, it's got these trees have pretty good shade on them. That's kind of what I was looking for. And I really didn't see that many down the river that had a lot of shade on them just because of the way the you know the way it sets up but here we got a lot of shade on the base of these trees so it should be some fish still up on them set up shallow and we're gonna throw the frog up on them and we're gonna fish down a little bit and see if we can make something happen you know then we might run into the creek where we put in might cast around a little bit see if we can get another big one but really i'm looking for another like three to four pounder if i could get another one that big i would be very satisfied very satisfied so hopefully we do you know i did get bit fairly decent flipping in that other pocket so i mean maybe i should maybe be picking up the rage bug and flipping around these trees i don't I don't know it's hard to say i mean i really think if i want the opportunity to catch like a big big one, i think it's going to be on the frog but i mean i could be totally wrong because i mean <laughs> you can catch a big big one on a raised bug or a texas rig or whatever as well so i don't know we'll throw this around a little bit and just see what we what we can make happen oh god there he is right there there he is right there come on don't come off there he is right there. I was just talking about him. And that's the one. That's another four pounder. Come here. I'm gonna get the net on this one. Just to make sure we get that 15 pounds. Oh, we got him. Well, he's not four, but he's three something. You talk about a bite. Woohoo! We just came out here just got out here absolutely choked it i had ran up the river all over the place looking and i guess we picked a good spot <laughs> i thought this fish was a touch bigger but he's definitely a three something get out of there there we go pretty one i mean <laughs> They can't bite any better than that. That fish absolutely smacked that thing. This fish is going to break 15 pounds for us. So I can tell you, we have definitely met our mark. Let's put our pole down. So our smallest fish right now is 1.36. That was the third fish that we caught today. Let's see what we got. 290, 291. Yeah, spot number three. Okay. Want to make sure I didn't mess that up there. Yep, 291. All right. God, what a bite. What a bite. All right, y'all. Ugh. all right y'all that's a daggone pretty one absolutely crushed it i know he put us over 15 pounds i'm pumped super excited nice fish boom baby i mean the frog i was i was just telling myself i was like look just get the frog back up go back out to some trees and throw the darn thing yes i switched over to you know to the different color frog to that aqua frog i had lost my other one uh my swamp frog the yellow and white one god that fish crushed it awesome all right well just got back here to the house and i'm gonna tell you what i had an absolute ball out there today 
Caught probably over 20 fish. I don't know if I'll be able to show them all in this video, but absolutely whacked them. And caught those two really good ones as well. Anytime I can go out on the water, especially a new body of water, and catch them on the frog and catch them the way that I want to catch them, I will take that as a win. That is a good day to me. You know, I set a goal for 15 pounds, ended up with 15.65. So we did exceed our goal, which I'm very excited about as well. You know, if you can go to a new body of water and catch over 15 pounds, hey, I'll take it, that's for sure. So, gonna definitely be getting back out there sometime soon. I don't know when it'll be, but I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out some of my other videos as well, and I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.